ask Tom on home show. Rob from Taylor Lake Village has tracing trouble. Well, all he wanted to do was put up a clock outside, Tom, and that's what got him into this trouble. Rob uh, writes to us, he says, I was trying to find an electrical wire in an outside wall using my non-contact voltage detector along our hardboard siding, but it never stops screeching, he says. No matter where I go along the entire wall, it registers a voltage. Not a little voltage, a lot of voltage, he says. So I killed all the power to the house and it stopped. I turn the power back on and it happens again. Now, um, I, it's fairly gloomy and humid, about 85%, he says, but, and I've heard of wet materials conducting electricity, but like this, how's he going to find that wire, Tom? What's your advice for Rob? I'd call an electrician. If something is happening that odd, this is way beyond anybody with a little, I know the little tester he has, I have one, and I, you touch the wire and you see if it's got power to it, and it goes ding, 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 uh, or you can even get one a little fancier than that. But if he's going and all this stuff and quite frankly i don't know why he's worried about it to hang this picture uh so there might be some kind of phantom thing going on i don't know no, it's a clock on, but he wants to put a clock up outside i know he wants to put a clock in but that's not what the voltage is from this okay. voltage is from something inside his wall and he's going around finding all this stuff then uh if he's really concerned about it which i probably would not be i'd just hang the clock and uh, I'm not too worried about him putting a nail through the wire. I'm not sure how he's hanging the clock. If he's putting in one of those big, long nails, that's probably I, not the best I, way to hang the I clock. I think the clock probably <laughs> needs electric. I think he's looking for electric because he wants to. It's an electric clock. I think maybe I maybe know. that's the problem. Because because my easy well, fix is go get a battery operated clock and call it a day. Well, that's what I'm getting at. I I, I think it's I, I think he's afraid he's going to hit a wire. I don't know. The bottom line is this: if he's not sure, I don't want him playing with electricity. If there's voltage all over, call Will at Right Touch Electrical. And if you're really concerned, have him come out and check it. But I'm not going to tell him, hey, just turn it off, hang the clock, don't worry about it, and put it back on. It might be all it needs, but I'm not going to tell him. And if he's got some kind of weird anomaly going on in his wall, then that's way beyond just a. Uh, call a question on the on a radio show or for this on a video they're back <laughs> yeah <laughs> i've never heard such a thing so if it if, yeah. but, but, you know i always answer these questions if it was me if it was me and i found something really odd that was freaking me out hey will uh put me on your list come out <laughs> here and take a look at this on, would bye. you yeah i did it for my pool light i could have fried myself and i mm -hmm. called him and i paid him he gave me an invoice at the end and but one of the things about did him you pay just it? to throw this out did you of pay I it? Paid it? Okay, I just checked. Yeah, I just paid Rudy okay. the other day too. But the, the bottom line is this: is he will say this is what it'll cost to fix it, and you can say yes or no. You can say no, I don't want it fixed. Well, at least he put it in writing and said, you know, he gave you the opportunity, uh, and you have it in writing, so you would not say, hey, he he lied to me. No, it's right there. He would give it to you. He's really an honest guy, and if there's something that needs to be taken care of, he'll tell expensive trip charge just to come out and tell you everything's okay and quite frankly when he's out there if it's a wired clock i'll probably wire it up and you, you'll probably have him just pay him for that but uh call an electrician when you find, when you're uncomfortable about electrical stuff don't just try to keep winging it don't wing it at all send us your questions and you can we'll ground you with good information <laughs> right here <laughs> homeshowradio.com you can send us it in writing you can send us pictures you can send us videos you can do interpretive dance, and we'll figure out what your problem is. No, it hasn't no, happened yet, but we're open to it. <laughs> All right. Send it to us. We'll post it in a video just like this. We post a new one every day at homeshowradio.com on our YouTube channel, our Facebook page. You know, if you're watching on YouTube, help us out. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That makes it easier to find. It helps us, and we'd appreciate it.